I change her mark on him. Yeah. Alright, everyone. We've got Lionel here who's playing in his 99th Super Rugby game for the Lions. Um, and then Coach Swiss and Captain Malcolm. You may start. Hello, Jock. Um, can you first tell us about this new deal you've signed to sound at the Lions? Yeah, no, yes, like it's a, it's a great opportunity and honour job to, uh, to have and the, for the trust they have in me for another two years. So, uh, you know, with a young team we have and uh, the right ex experience, guys, the future look, looks very good. So it's a big honour and I thank God for the opportunity and that we can carry on and, and, and do what finish what we started. Were, were, I mean, were there some doubts and thoughts of perhaps going abroad like so many players and coaches do nowadays and had there been some offers maybe? Yes, yeah, there's been opportunities, uh, to, to be honest, Jack. Uh, you know, that is a big world out there and, uh, but yeah, I, 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 after big consideration with my family and, and everyone and my agent, uh, James Adam, so we, uh, we came to the conclusion that it's the right thing to stay. That we haven't finished what we started. And that was basically the thing. It was never about other stuff that I read in the paper and stuff. It was never about that. It was about, they would know, that, you know, to do what we love and carry on with it. You've got 721s in the squad, imagine, two years' time. So that's all the stuff that stuck with me. And then working with a fantastic leader, group of players, it's especially, you don't find it, or, uh, I don't, can't think we, you know, the kind of quality leaders we have in this team. It just makes it so, so nice and I'm looking forward to come to work in the morning. Yeah, I suppose could we, could we then see more, more of the, 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 the older players staying with the last because of your decision? Look, it's still their decision. They, everyone must make up his own mind. I'll bless a player if he must go. And if he looks at his options and it's that time of the year, I would just like us to settle as quickly as possible. Uh, that that we know who's the coaches carrying on with us and who's the players. So yeah, Rudolf, that's uh, uh, that's what I want. So is what to you would mean job done, job complete? What would be that? What would bring that kind of satisfaction? Yeah, just to 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 just to improve still what we're doing and to play a better brand and make a difference in their lives and and see if we can then have a bonus, maybe get some the right cups and stuff. But it's not about the cup; it's about reaching maximum potential in a lot of uh, in this team and we, we're not there yet we're striving to get there but uh, it looks very promising I must say Chris you speak about the, the youngsters in, in the squad and still in the, in, the, in the system what is your sort of overall vision for them in two years time I you know that uh, you've got to look at the team and the individual I love it when one of our youngsters come through and make it there's nothing so fulfilling you know, the day when Malcolm comes through our case, through our system, and the day you hear is a springbok. Yo, you know, that, uh, to give you an example, that is very fulfilling. I'm an educator, I'm a teacher, uh, and uh, all my life. And that makes it, you know, that, that makes it worth everything when you battle and lose, and, and that player comes through and he makes it. That's an individual. And then the team, if you see, there's not many stars, and, they, and suddenly it's like the puzzle just clicks together. And they go. It's a feeling you can't describe, and that's why I'm so thankful to to to, to that I can be involved with this. So, is your involvement with the Springboks? How does that still going to sort of affect 
quickly about the lines. Uh, Krista, I'm so glad you're asking that. Uh, by the way, you're better. Your shoulder better and everything good now. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you back. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, what was your question again, Krista? <laughs> <laughs> I know with the with the <laughs> with the with the spring boxes. We, I, I'm gonna. Uh, Rossi wants me to do the attack there. That's after Super Rugby. I had one day I had to spend with him when we had a lineman camp. That was in our off week. But honestly now, he, uh, I focus 100% on my job at hand and the line. So when that's finished, we'll have two and a half months. There'll be a one or two camps and there'll be games. Then we focus on the... And that's Rossi's policy. I promise you guys that. There's no interference at this stage. He wants us to focus in, on what the franchise, franchises are doing. Royce, can I move to the match this weekend then? Mm -hmm. um, I see you picked up Peewee at 13. Um, just your thoughts behind that decision and then after you, Lionel, just your thoughts on playing next to him in the centres. Yeah, firstly, I think you saw when he came on against the Sun Wolves, he was right on song. Uh, he played 10 as a, in his career as, as a schoolboy and then he played a bit of 13, then full 15, played wing, became a Springbok winger. So he's a footballer, wherever you play him, uh, that's one of those things. I think Lionel can, will, will tell you that if Lionel plays wing 12 or 13, maybe you should answer that. We, they all know the detail and they should slot in. Uh, when you have players in your team that can adapt, it makes it so much easier. So uh, later we'll play him wing again, but there's certain concepts at 13 that is good for him. And it's good for his development, he's still a young player. Uh, we never know if his future maybe is wing or, or 13, at least we gave him a, right, a fair chance there. Well, I'm not just huge. You know, you mainly played on the wing and a 13, and all of a sudden you're a 12. <laughs> just that's that scored up. <laughs> I just like to play rugby. <laughs> Give me the ball and I'll run. <laughs> yeah, I know it, uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be exciting. Uh, if he came on uh, against the Sun Wolves on 13, and he's a natural, foot a natural footballer. And, uh, you love to play with the natural footballers. I think we only have, I think, one specialist in, in our back line, <laughs> maybe Alton. But he can also slot in at 12 as well. Uh, yeah, it's, it's good to obviously just play rugby again, play good, play good rugby again, and just looking forward to it. You're up against two sort of very settled players there in the Sharks team, though, who are, you know, 12 and 13, and you guys have now got you at a new position and I've used them in a new position. That's a bit of a risk, uh, or, or not so. Uh, opportunity, more than a risk. Uh, we love opportunities. Uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. There's going to be a challenge. We love challenges. Uh, and then, like I said, OP is a natural footballer. We have a lot of footballers in our back line. And, and it's like it's like easy for us to adapt to one another. So this week, uh, so far, this tra training has been good. Uh, uh, I don't think we... I believe we, 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 had, we had a good week so far, good two days. So I'm really confident going into this weekend. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of brings back uh, from injuries. It's been quite a while since he's he's been on the park. Obviously, that freak injury at, at, at the golf camp. How much of a boost does he bring in terms of go forward ball in, in, in the forwards? Because he he is your your, your probably your, your main ball carrier. Mm. Uh, and uh, with the addition of, of Malcolm next to you, how how much of, of a boost is that having Kyle back? Uh, no, massive boost. Uh, Kyle is just one of those. He's such a team man. You know, he, he doesn't say much, but he talks on the field. So it's so great to have him back. And you can feel the aura around him. When I announced the team and, and I read his name, there was a, a, a nice vibe, you know, within the team. And you always know when you pick the right guy at the right time and the guys react like that, that makes it special. So I hope that answers your question. And probably Lionel, uh, also to yourself, it's... 99 Super Rugby games, you know, it's, it's, it hasn't been the easiest journey. And if you look back at uh, the start of your career, the Cheetahs, and then everything that went on through, how, how, how much of a milestone, how much uh, of, a, of a big win does this mean for you? Uh, to be honest, <laughs> I'm not even thinking about that 99th game. Probably could have been 100. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> yeah, it's been a roller coaster. But it's, it's been a good roller coaster. I mean, uh, obviously, t probably injuries uh, at most. But uh, obviously, you get through them, and that happens in the game. Uh, I think I don't think I, I think about that too much. At the moment is just playing good rugby, you know, and 
And this is an important year for us. We've been doing good the last couple of years and obviously want to build on that. So at the moment, it's, just, it's all about serving the team and, and actually not just myself. I, must, I have to better myself to serve the team. So that's what I'm focusing on at the moment. Malcolm, um, I think if you ask most Jenny and rugby followers, what would be one of the most ultimate uh, challenges? They would say Malcolm Marks against Ake van der Merle, you know, giving, <laughs> giving the thing where he came from as well. <coughs> Now that it's not going to happen, are you are you in a way glad or sad about it? <laughs> no, to be honest, a bit sad. It's it's nice to challenge yourself against a player like Aka. To be honest, um, he always keeps you on your toes, and um, obviously you can see um, throughout his performances throughout the season how well he's been playing in last year as well and the year before that, and even when he was at the Lions, um, he's a great player and he's a great guy to measure yourself against because he always brings out the best in you. Welcome, how, what's the mood like and what are your thoughts around coming off a bye into another match on a Friday? I, th I think the bar maybe came at the right time because uh, a couple of guys carrying a few little niggles and which in the bar week um, I think we managed to sort out. So um, I think it came at the right time. The guys I think needed the break mentally as well after six weeks on the trot. So I think um, I think it did us good and, and the Monday and Tuesday, well Monday and today went really, really well at training. So, so I think it went well. And then just your thoughts around Carl, who's a guy that you've come a long way with in this, after coming back now? Yeah, well, I've been at school with Carl and, and Dylan since um, grade 8, so I mean, um, it's nice to see him coming back um, after a seven-month in seven injury. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, he looks more ready than ever, to be honest.